and uh, I'm going to just start cleaning up the electric cart because everything is getting moldy, 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 moldy. We're getting to the end of wet season and the humidity is high. Usually towards the end of wet season, the rain is the hardest, don't you think? Yeah? All of a sudden stops and you're in dry season. So here we go, clean it up. what I love about my friends. Just get busy doing something and they all pitch in. Why aren't you working, Rezzy? See, we're getting finished here now. Here we got your water again. Water. Here you got lockable cupboards. Look at that. All by the lake. Pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah. Jose, vamos a comer. Joy's like, we gotta feed everybody all the time, which I guess is true. So she made these really yummy things for breakfast. And Jose has been whippersnipping, which you probably heard already in the background. Now it's time to eat. Hey, hey! Fishing. You coming back yeah. to go fishing? Yeah. Yeah? For you. Yeah. <laughs> Does she want fish? Yeah. All right, bro. Uh -huh. I guess uh, we'll see you in an hour. Uh-huh. With some tilapia. Tilapia and in... Sar Sargentios. Sargent, yeah. Awesome, bro. You're awesome. Okay, we'll see you, we'll see you soon. Yeah. With some fish. Before... We'll see more, uh, now. Let's get it now, eh? Well, the weather's good. Five, five, five Our buddy Jabel has been building these for us. He's pretty good at it. And, uh... These will go in our home unit uh, so that we can store stuff. Look at this. If you ever wanted to live in a container home and you're wondering what it's like, it's awesome. Do it. Because, you know. That's an incredible setup we're developing. I got all this wonderful vegetation that has to go somewhere. Lots of cool stuff. Look at that avocado tree just beaming to get out. It's just growing in buckets. There's another avocado. Non-stop goodies to plant. So we just soldered these latches on to the container um, so that we can lock the container. See, we just have a pin that locks in place um, from the inside. So there's another latch inside there. Easy security. Um, so I'm just sweeping out these things before it gets all stuck in there because of the weather. A lot of what we do here at Jungle Eco Reserve is maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Living in the jungle, um, it's constantly a maintenance. Baby, how old is this shelf that we just put in? Like a week old. And there's already mold on it. The problem in the jungle is, especially towards the end of rainy season, is mold on everything. I've been wiping down this door, but that's what it used to look like. 
after a couple of days, mold starts kicking in. So I love the rainy season. I love how it cleans up everything. But the mold is unbelievable. So our stools and steps, uh, and um, those are stools. These are like all of this we created in the last few weeks. Look at our tables. We're going to have five tables like that. What do you think, Josh? Um, it's pretty sweet, eh? Yeah, I think they're a really good example of what you're able to do when you work with material around you. Right. It, you know, um, due to the current situation, um, when people do first see them, they will already be aged and everything. So they would have already been a good example for how long the material starts to last. Right. So, you know, it's a bit of a pigsty around here right now, but don't let that fool you. This place is going to clean up real nice. So there's the boards we used, and uh, here's what we turn them into. This has been uh, a combination of skills. We used Jose Flores to chop down the trees and trim them up. We used Edvarto and his guys to weld up the table stuff and make boards out of it. And, sorry brah, we got our Amber friends making cabinets. Jobel, you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Any words for the wise, Josh? Being a wise Texan? Um, yeah. If what got you this far still works and you have further to go, take that thing just as far as it took you. So then you'll be the one who makes it. It's nice! Like, it's like taking care of a horse. Get it done, do it right, everybody makes it. Including the horse. Oh, well, of course. All right. Yeah, so basically what you're saying is don't stress it. Exactly. I think that's I think that's prudent advice, especially uh, with Corona and everything. You know, a lot of people tripping out. Um, so you know, work hard, play hard, and don't stress. Um, if you can do that in your life, uh, you're generally going to be old and happy. And that's the way to be. So, another week has come and gone, and I just like to take the time on the end of a Friday work day to relax on my log and reflect on the things that we actually represent. Saving our planet, teaching others to do so, cleaning up garbage, advancing environmental sciences. Sometimes I don't feel like I've done any of those very rapidly, but we're setting in the groundwork right now so that we can meet those purposes. We're making the allegiances to make that happen. Bea boa, bro. Bea boa, Java.